Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a trade recap from today, December 16th, and how I made $1,668 in just over one minute. And the crazy part, which may be hard to believe, is that was three trades. So my total hold time between all three trades today was one minute and 20 seconds. That's the true definition of a scalper. And I know I keep posting winning videos, but the trading has been pretty good recently. I've been listening to my rules, staying disciplined, focusing on good setups, and haven't been getting into trouble. And when I can do that, I'm usually able to make money almost every day. But don't worry, when I have a losing day, I'll make sure to post that too, because it's always good to learn from the losers. Okay, so the names that I was watching today was Tesla. Tesla's on my watch every single day. Apple, SEDG, SQ, Amazon, Twitter, and MRNA. So I was watching a decent amount, but the main ones that I was paying attention to were Tesla, Amazon, Square, and Apple. Okay, so I just wanna quickly go through the technicals. Tesla, I always mark pre-market high, pre-market low. It was trading a little weak pre-market, so the only main level that I had marked down was prior day's low at 623.80. Had no idea if it was gonna get there, but I put it on there just in case. Apple had a very nice move yesterday, broke out of this consolidation, just above the nine EMA, very nice bullish candle showing that buyers are clearly in control. And now the main two levels that I was looking at was prior day's high for a possible second day continuation, 127.90 and pre-market high, 128.70. SEDG is a name that I don't normally watch. Average daily volume is a little low, but I was looking to see if this could make a new all-time high because that's a nice looking breakout chart, all-time high. And the main level that I was looking at was 317.88. SQ is a very strong stock, started to consolidate, looks like a bit of a bull flag. All time high was 222.20, so that was the main level that I was watching. Amazon has been consolidating for a while, starting to get tight above the nine EMA, the 20 SMA. The two levels that I was looking at was pre-market high, 3182.50 and 3190. Twitter's had a nice strong move on the daily, pulled back a little bit, and it was gapping above this prior pivot, 53.48. So that was the main level that I was looking at, just knowing it got above that. So buyers are clearly in control. And then also looking at pre-market high, 54.90. But Twitter's not that big of a mover, so it's really not one of my favorite stocks to trade. But I had it up just in case it put in a really clean pattern. MRNA was trading weak pre-market, broke this prior support area, 142.46. Looked like it had room down to the 20 SMA. Not one of my favorite stocks to trade, but I had it up just in case it put in a clean intraday pattern. And also I prefer to go long. So the only way that I would have taken a trade on this is if the setup was perfect. So now knowing what I was watching and all the levels, let's get into the actual trades. Okay, so the first trade is gonna be on square and that first move was down, which I prefer because now it gives a high of day, which is the area where I wanna to try to be long or try to anticipate just a little bit. The only thing that wasn't great with square is that it had a nice move pre-market. It actually broke all-time high in the pre-market. I really wish it had waited till the open to do that, but I still wanted to give it a chance because it's very strong. So I have the 225 calls, the next strike just out of the money. High a day is 223.93. So that's the area that I'm looking to go long. So now I'm just waiting for it to get there. It's now above VWAP. Starting to get towards that 2393, looks pretty good. There's some size at 224. So I'm thinking if it can get to 224 and get through it, there could possibly be a momentum pop. Spread on the options is okay right now, even though sometimes the spread on square can be a little iffy. They're looking okay. Not moving super fast, but if it gets there, I wanna give it a chance. So right there, get long just before the 224 break. A little bit of size at 224 gets through it. So it looks good. Now I'm trying to hold out for a move but there was something that just made me feel like this did not have the follow through that I wanted. When I trade square and some of the other momentum names, when they break high a day, they should go very fast. And this didn't. So the moment it broke through 224 and then came back in, I ended up just getting out of the trade instantly. And lucky enough, that gut feeling got me out of what would have been a loser because this ended up pulling back pretty aggressively. So I got out up 60 bucks on that trade and I was only in it for 22 seconds. And I think something like that is just experience. Sitting in front of the screens for four years, I know what should happen. When we get to that high of day, also having made a new all-time high, it should go quick. So the moment that it starts to hesitate and pulls back, I just cut it knowing that I can always reevaluate. I can always get into the trade if it sets up again clean, but if it doesn't go quick, I need to do a good job at just getting out because I don't wanna end up holding a loser 
And as we all know, when it comes to trading options, those pullbacks can really just destroy premium. And I don't want to take a hit like that. And even though this didn't work out, I consider this a great trade because I took a small win out of it instead of what would have been a huge loser had I been patient and held it. Okay, and the next trade is on Tesla. First move off the open was higher, clearly failed, broke below VWAP, broke below low a day, had a nice period of consolidation and actually had a very nice bear flag pattern right around 625. And that was a good setup because it was just above prior day's low at 623.80. Now it's trading just below prior day's low so I still think that there's some possible downside room. So what I'm doing now is just waiting to see if there's another flag pattern. And this looks like a nice flag. So I have the 620 puts loaded, trading five. As it comes down to 622 low a day, I take the position. And shorting Tesla can be a little sketchy. So the moment that I get some follow through, I want to start considering taking that position off. I don't want to worry about holding for a bigger move, especially on the short side with Tesla. So just waiting for it to come towards low a day starting to show some weakness, had a little bit of a bounce, boom, breaks 622, comes down to 621, 620, crazy fast move down to 619. That was insanely quick and I ended up just taking it off because that was a crazy fast move. That felt like a lot of stop orders got hit and when I get a move that quick, I'm always just gonna take it. And ended up being the right thing to do because that very fast move down ended up getting instantly bought back up and I don't wanna have to deal with those pullbacks. So the total trade was only 32 seconds and made $697. Okay, and the third trade is on Amazon. I missed that first nice entry at 3190. The reason I missed it is because just like everybody else, I'm guilty of sometimes hesitating. I was already green on the day. The last thing that I wanted to do was trade Amazon and possibly give those gains back. But once it broke that key technical level, 3190 on the daily, and showing that buyers are clearly in control, I felt like there was some room to the upside. So now I'm just waiting for a little bit of consolidation. That's starting to look like a nice flag pattern. High day, 3199.75. If it gets there, I'm gonna give it a chance, but what I'm doing is sizing down, only trading three contracts. And you're gonna see here shortly that I actually switched the strike price to the 3200 calls. So right at the money, if it gets to high a day, just waiting till it gets there, but that looks pretty clean. Nice and tight, bull flag, right through 3199. Take it long right there towards high day. A lot of size at 3,200. Gets through 3,200. There should be a momentum pop. Look at all those orders going through the tape, chewing through all those offers. This is a good tape example. Once it chews through all those, there should be that next leg up. And boom, that quick momentum pop. Almost five points straight up. A little bit of size at 3,205. Hesitates there for a little bit. Just got a very nice move. Get out of the trade right there. And take it for an insanely fast trade made $910 in 26 seconds. And this is definitely not the norm. I usually hold my trades anywhere from one to four minutes. But when I get quick moves that fast, my style is to always take those profits. My focus is the size of the move, not the hold time, and especially when it comes to trading options. When that momentum push happens and I get that spike in premium, I make sure to get out. Because any sort of pullback after that can really drain the premium. So I'm glad that I took profits on that quick pop. And that was it. Took those three quick trades and called it a day and ended up making 1668 altogether with a total hold time of one minute and 20 seconds, which is crazy. But that's the power of scalping when you catch the moves right. That was the recap on my Square, Tesla, and Amazon trades. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.